Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagno. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to perform a live demonstration of the 2D experience release 19X on cloud. And I will show you how we, you can create custom attributes and how we can make a bill of material of an assembly using these custom attributes. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the 3D experience online, so the, on, the, on your web browser. So as you can see here, I have a favorite link, so it's easier for me to access. And of course, you need to be administrator of the platform to perform this action. Then you need to go to the North Quadrant of the Compass and search the application Collaborative Spaces Control. Okay, where you can find this attributes management. And when you are there, you can access all the different uh, elements in the tool experience. Okay, so you have drawing, you have a simulation file, etc. And you have also physical product. That's what we, you are uh, looking for. So physical product. So it concerns 3D parts and also assembly. So I select this. And as you can see, I already created some attributes here. So you can have uh, different type of attributes. Uh, here it's all strings, so meaning it's it's just a sentence. And uh, they all have this option, export into the XML. And I do recommend you to select this option because if you want to send your 3D model to someone else, uh, then, the 3D, uh, then the custom attributes will be in the 3D model. Uh, you can modify these custom attributes and you can delete them. And as you can see, you can uh, see that they are deployed on my 3D experience. Uh, so if you modify uh, one of the attributes uh, here, I cannot modify the name though, but if I modify uh, this, uh, click on OK, as you can see, it's going to be uh, orange and I click on apply to modify that. Uh, however, I like this option, so I keep it that way. Uh, actually, I don't even need to refresh, I will just close. Uh, here is just the way you can create an attribute. So you click on plus and there you can create different type of attributes or so real integer or string as I did before. Uh, you can write the name of your new attribute. Okay. And you can have a default value if you want to and select the option 3D XML and you can also create some subtype, for example, like if you want to search it faster on the 3 experience. Okay, so I will just close this uh, window. I remember to click on apply when you've done it. And also you should do it at the very beginning uh, when you have the to experience, since these attributes will only be uh, applied to the new part, not the previous one that did not have any custom attributes. So you should do that as at the very beginning. Okay, I close my window and I already have a to experience open here. And as you can see, when I click on 3D parts, it proposed me to, of course, change the name of the, the part, but also already have this custom attributes in the panel. So here I have an example of an assembly containing several parts, and I already filled the custom attributes here. Okay. And now I will show you how we can apply, uh, how we can create a bill of material of this a uh, small assembly and bring these custom attributes. So I will insert a drawing in my assembly. Okay. And as you can see here, also when I create the drawing, I change the name, but you also have uh, what I created myself, a drawing number here. So if you want to, you can create attributes for any kind of things. I click on OK. I switch to the drafting application where I will just insert a view of my model. So you want to be sure to have the full assembly. Okay, and just here it is. I can also make a projection view. Great. And now I will create the bill of material. So you have to go to annotation and then go to bill of material just under table. Uh, just you should know that this bill of material is the default one from the 3D experience. So it does not contain everything you want. So you can modify this and later I can show you also how you can uh, keep it as you want. 
So here I have name, description, material, estimated weight. So I will just delete all of that and create and change it by my uh, custom attribute. So you have to go to properties. So I do it again, right click, you go to properties and then reported properties where you'll find uh, this uh, item here. Be careful, sometimes the, the window is a bit small, so it hide the, the button, so just keep it big. So I will just delete all of this. Okay, click on apply. I can see item number and quantity. I will select the line new, where it actually copy the previous one. And from there, we'll just select, so color. And it's the one containing the same name in the brackets. So color, click and apply, it works. I continue that way. Uh, here we also have dimension, click and apply. Okay, I select another one that uh, I think I can write my attributes. Okay. I select another one as well. Uh, we can select the weight. So here you have several, so be careful to select the one with only weight in the bracket. Apply, so we don't see it very much. So I will just, as you can see, it's working. Properties, okay. And the last one is And there I will select not tweets but B5 name and you click on apply here. So as you can see, it's a bit too small. So you just increase that by 40 millimeter maybe, apply. Okay, and it sounds good to me. So here uh, I show you how you can create a, a bill of material, but this method is still very manually. So if you want to save this uh, bill of material, you always want to have this kind of bill of material, then you need to uh, close the 3D experience, a log with administrator on the default collaborative space, and you will click on your uh, head here and you will go to standards, where you can find this bill of material default style. So you have to go to drafting, then you select the type of uh, ISO you use, uh, standards you use. So here I use ISO myself. And then you go down to ISO, you go down to st stills, styles, and you go down to bill of material. And there you have the default, okay, where you can modify each element reported properties, you find exactly the same panel where you can actually search for the attributes you want. Uh, and of course, uh, what I did is you can also create P, uh, I created my own ISO file, so PLM ISO, where I can modify this as well. But remember that you need to be logged as uh, administrator. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, do not hesitate to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. And I hope uh, that you will like the video and you will see more and more like that. Thank you very much. Goodbye.